because it might not be nothing else around us to encourage us. That's right. Because the right. obstacles and situation, amen, will say you're not coming out. But see, we got to remember what Jesus said. We got to remember the word of God. That's why that word of David said in the word of God, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against you. Amen. It's the word of God because we planted it. It's in our heart. When the enemy come up against us like a flood, we can stand because why? We got the word of God. And then by we got the word of God, we got God with us. And he said in the word already, I never leave you. He with us. So all we got to do is lean and depend upon the word of God. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. We're going to kind of read a little bit in this 33rd chapter. Starting the first. Amen. This is why on the way back to the land of Canaan. The reason Jacob left the land of Canaan is because he stole his brother's birthright. Right. Amen. And then he stole his blessing that his father blessed him with. Amen. But God was working through that to bring about his purpose. That's right. But Jacob's brother Esau said I was gonna, he was going to kill him. But Rebecca told Jacob to go to her brother's land, yeah. the land of Haran. Amen. Yeah. But in that land, again, God was making him. Yeah. Amen. But now Jacob is back. Amen. After yeah. 20 years, he's back. Amen. Yeah. And he remembered what his brother had told him. Yeah. Amen. Knowing that his brother said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Look at this 33rd chapter with me. Starting from the first verse. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked and behold, Esau came and with him 400 men. Now when Jacob first heard about the 400 men, Jacob became fearful, amen, yeah. because he yeah. thought he remembered, and it wasn't nothing but the enemy working behind the scene, That's planting right. that, that, right. that fear into the heart and in the mind of Jacob. Yeah. But when Jacob first heard that, he became fearful of yeah. that 400 men, amen. Yeah. And instead yeah. of remembering what God say again when situations come, we got to remember what Jesus said. Jacob should have remembered that the Lord said, I'm gonna bring you back. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'm gonna bless you. Everything that I have spoken concerning you, I'm gonna bring you back. So Jacob needed to remember, but Jacob was like many of us, and he was a type of us. Amen. When the storm of life come to their life and they come and they're going to continue to come but we got to remember what Jesus said because how many know that we got the victory even before the storm or situation present itself how many know that we have the victory amen God didn't save us God didn't bring us this far to leave us he didn't teach us to swim to let us drown is that right God has called us into a lifestyle of victory God God has called us into a life of triumph, amen, when we do it his way. And I had to put it in that way, like that, because when we, the Bible says we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened us, amen, amen. We can't do nothing on our own. So Jacob lifted up his eyes and he looked and behold, Esau came and with him 400 men, and he divided the children of Leah and unto Rachel and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph him the most. And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times. And this was the custom at that time. Amen. To bow uh, when you talk about humbling yourself to someone. Yes. Until he came to his brother. Amen. Amen. He wasn't taking it for him for granted. Fourth verse, and Esau ran to meet him. See, it shows here that God not only had prepared Jacob to meet Esau, but God had prepared Esau to meet, meet Jacob. Amen. See, God just want him to believe him. Amen. There's no problem on earth that God cannot solve. God will bring us out of every situation. Amen. We don't have to go by how it looks like or what we hear. God wants us to do to, is to believe him. God is going to bring us out of it. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck. Now, this is the same man 20 years prior said that I'm going to kill him because he first stole uh, how did he, my birthright and then he stole, amen, my right of my father uh, the, uh, being the head of the family from me. 
body. Amen. This is that same man, but this is that man now. Esau, he ran to Jacob and leaned on his neck and kissed him. See what God can do. God will make your enemy be your footstool if we learn and to depend upon God. Amen. See, we he didn't call us again to a lifestyle of, 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 of disaster, but of victory. We are a victorious people. When we lean and depend on God. Now, somebody tell him thank you. And the Bible say that Esau as he fell on Jacob's neck, he kissed him, and they both began to weep after 20 years now. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, God know what he's doing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children, talking about Esau, and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God had graciously given thy servant. Remember, Jacob went into the land of Aaron. Aaron. And God said, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless your seed. When he went in there, he went in there by himself. He might have some wow. servants with him, but he went in there by himself. Amen. Wow. But he didn't know what God was going to do. Wow. He was going, he's going to seek a wife. He got two. But through them wives, God gave him the 12 children of Jacob. Yes. Amen. The beginning of a multitude yes. of 